That's a nice cloak. Thank you. This cloak was stolen from our family many years ago. What would it be doing in a place like this? Maybe the thieves discarded it. Hey, what a bunch of chumps! They had no choice. Only I, heir to the throne of Windor, can wear such fine raiment. Someone's feeling confident! This would draw attention to any thief who wore it. That's probably why they abandoned it. Would it look good on me? Probably not. It's a little big for you, Sophie. It would drag along behind you. Hmm. Although, that might not be half bad. Richard? Looks like it triggered some fancy of his. It won't take long! Oh, oh, lightning strike! Yeah. Yeah. This is what happens when you misjudge your foe. This won't take long. Study up on the basics.
my gosh, Fourier! I haven't seen you in forever! Just when I thought it was safe to relax. It looks like you brought the whole gang with you. Listen, Fourier, we need your help. Oh? When monsters change, it's usually due to a mutation triggered by their environment. Sorry, but could you explain? All creatures have the ability to adapt to changing conditions. It's what allows the species to thrive. For example, if animals from a warm climate are transported to a colder one, many of them will perish. However, the strong ones will adapt and evolve in order to survive. So is that what's happening here? Yes. I would assume the monsters are evolving to better meet the threat posed by humans. So you think we're helping to make the monsters stronger? That's what I just said, isn't it? Of course, it's just a hypothesis. Hmm. But doesn't it usually take forever for things to evolve? Normally, yes. Evolution is a slow process that takes several generations to unfold. But we have numerous examples of sudden mutations in monsters, especially those that live near the Valcanus. In other words, outside interference greatly increases the odds of rapid mutation. I would theorize that an unknown being is affecting them, perhaps something similar to Lambda or Lestalia. Do you think Lambda himself might be responsible? Absolutely not. You seem quite sure. How can you be so certain? Do you doubt my powers? It's not that. I made a decision to exist together with you, so of course I'm going to trust you. Did you say... trust? You lent me your power. Because you were trying to help. Isn't that right? Even if true, I would do so only because you are my host vessel. Though I exist inside you, do not be so arrogant as to think you can control me. I'm not trying to control you. You helped us back there. You saved our lives. I haven't thanked you yet, so thanks. This is nonsense. I don't know if Lambda influenced the mutations, but I didn't sense his power in those monsters. If that's the case, then I think the problem might be up there. In Fodra? I wanted to talk to you because Fodra's been acting kind of wonky. I didn't even notice until Poisson and the Overseer brought it up. 
but ever since, me and all the other Amarcians have been studying it. About two months ago, we found Elith gushing from a point on the surface. Therefore, Fodra's supposedly non-functional core is showing signs of activity. If Fodra's core is in fact the source of all life, then... Yes, it's conceivable that the core might be promoting evolution in the monsters. Is my sister the best or what? Okay guys, I gotta take the shuttle and zip off to Fodra. Do you really think you'll learn something new up there? Well, I'm sure not learning anything standing around here. In that case, we'll go with you. Oh, hey, wait. Is Stratus Valcanus still okay? Because, you know, all these crazy monsters are appearing near Valcanus. At the very least, the President deserves to know. But that means a side trip to Strata. I'll go. But I'm not looking forward to it. Something wrong, Hubert? D no, it's nothing. How about we go with you? It'll be a lot easier than going alone. All right, but please try not to cause any trouble. Nothing's wrong. Leave me alone. Geez, fine. Sorry. No need to be so cold. Gosh. You are being mean to Pascal, Hubert. No, I'm... Wait, am I? But that's how I've always acted. You never look her in the eyes. Hmm? Sophie? You are very perceptive. It's just... Looking at her like that is... Difficult. It's hard for me to explain. I don't think I can meet her gaze at this particular moment. Do you have a guilty conscience? Huh? You've been talking to the captain, haven't you? When a man has a guilty conscience, he can't look a woman in the eye, right? Mmm, perhaps not. Not that I feel particularly guilty about anything, mind you. I hate to admit it, but sometimes even I don't understand what's wrong with me. It's okay. Cheer up, Hubert. 